Hello, I'm Ben Sieber with Epilogue Laser. For this month's Sample Club, we thought it would be fun to create a Stars and Stripes themed guitar. We'll be utilizing the Fusion Pro 48 with Iris camera technology. Start by placing your guitar body and pickguard into a Fusion Pro laser system and close the top door. At the laser, use the focus and jog features to bring the guitar body and pickguard into focus. With the Epilogue dashboard now open, you'll see a top-down view of the guitar body and pickguard on the bed of your laser. Next, click on the Copy Background Image button in the left Tools panel. Now, open your version of CorelDRAW and paste the copied background image into the page. Next, we're going to crop the pasted image to make it easier to work with in CorelDRAW. With the image still selected, click on the Edit Bitmap button in the Properties bar at the top of the screen to open a copy of the pasted image in Corel Photo Paint. Within Photo Paint, select the Crop tool in the toolbar on the left side of the screen. Now draw a rectangle around the guitar body and press Enter to create a cropped version. In order to save this new version and update the pasted image in CorelDRAW, simply press Ctrl S to save the image or select File Save at the top of the screen. Then close Photo Paint. Back in CorelDRAW, you'll see the newly updated version of the background image. Next, select the Bezier tool from the toolbar on the left. With the Bezier tool selected, trace the outline of the guitar body and route it out holes to create your engraving template. Once you've completed tracing the Telecaster guitar body, trace the pickguard as well, and optionally, the guitar neck headstock. With your outlines now completed, now you're ready to move on to applying graphics to your template. Start by opening the CorelDRAW Contour tool. Select Window, Dockers, Effects, Contour tool from the drop-down menus at the top of the screen. Next, select the outer Telecaster body outline and use the following settings to add an inside border for the body. Set the Contour to Inside Contour, Contour Steps to 1, Contour Offset to 0.125 inches, Select green as the outline color, then click apply. Now we'll create borders for the body cutouts. Start by selecting one of the cutout shapes on the guitar body. Next, select one of the cutout lines and use the following settings to add an outside border for the cutout. In the contour tool panel, set the contour to outside contour, then click apply. Now, one at a time, select the other body cut outlines and apply the same settings to create the borders for the cutouts. With all the borders created, you'll now need to break apart the contour group shapes to separate the newly created contour lines from the original traced lines. Select all of the contour line groupings, then right click on one of the groupings and select break apart contour group to separate the contour lines from the original lines. With the green contour lines now separated, select only the green lines. Then click the back minus front button from the properties bar at the top of the screen to remove the traced whole objects from the guitar body outline. Test the results by adding a color fill to the resulting shape. The resulting shape will serve as the template for engraving the Telecaster guitar body. To add the stripes to the body, Start by drawing your black filled stripes over the body. Once you've drawn your stripes, select all three stripes, then select Object, Power Clip, Place Inside Frame from the menus at the top of the screen, and click on the Guitar Body template to place the stripes inside the container. Once you're finished, we'll select only the pick guard outline and the neck pickup hole. Then select Back Minus Front from the properties bar at the top of the screen to remove the hole from the pick guard outline. Now we're ready to add the star pattern to the pick guard. Press Ctrl plus I or select File Import from the drop down menus at the top of the screen. Then select the stars pattern.eps file from its saved location on your computer and press Import. Note the star pattern is included in the download available on the Epilog Laser Sample Club article page. Now click on your workspace to place the star pattern. With the star pattern placed into your work area, now we'll move, scale, and power clip the star pattern inside your pick guard template. 
Once you've finished adjusting the star pattern for the pickguard, select Object Power Clip, place inside frame, and click on the pickguard to place the stars into your template. The guitar body and pickguard are now ready to be sent to the laser. Select just the guitar body template, then print the job to the epilogue dashboard. With the guitar body in the laser, the top door closed, and the material in focus You'll now see a preview of the guitar body and your graphics in the dashboard. Click and move the graphics over the guitar body until they are visually aligned to the guitar body. Once you have your graphics placed, adjust the laser parameters and settings for the material, then print the job to the laser and start the job. Repeat these same steps for cutting and engraving your pickguard and optional neck headstock. Additionally, We've engraved the back of the guitar body and the guitar neck plate to make this project a one of a kind. Once you have all of your guitar parts engraved, finish any additional steps such as color filling the stripes, then follow the assembly instructions provided with your guitar kit to finish your 4th of July themed guitar project. If you're interested in the full article and downloads provided for this project, visit the Epilog Laser Sample Club section at epiloguelaser.com slash sample club.